In physics, Kaluza-Klein theory, theory is a classical unified field theory of gravitation and electromagnetism built around the idea of a fifth dimension beyond the usual four of space and time and considered an important precursor to string theory. The five-dimensional theory developed in three steps. The original hypothesis came from Theodor Kaluza, who sent his results to Einstein in 1919, and published them in 1921, which detailed a purely classical extension of general relativity to five dimensions and includes 15 components. Ten components are identified with the four-dimensional spacetime metric, four components with the electromagnetic vector potential, and one component with an unidentified scalar field sometimes called the radian or the dilaton. Correspondingly, the five-dimensional Einstein equations yield the four-dimensional Einstein field equations, the Maxwell equations for the electromagnetic field, and an equation for the scalar field. Kaluza also introduced the cylinder condition hypothesis, that no component of the five-dimensional metric depends on the fifth dimension. Without this assumption, the field equations of five-dimensional relativity grow enormous in complexity. Standard four-dimensional physics seems to manifest the cylinder condition. In 1926, Oscar Klein gave Kaluza's classical five-dimensional theory a quantum interpretation, to accord with the then-recent discoveries of Heisenberg and Schrödinger. Klein introduced the hypothesis that the fifth dimension was curled up and microscopic, to explain the cylinder condition. Klein suggested that the geometry of the extra fifth dimension could take the form of a circle, with the radius of 10-30 cm. Klein also calculated a scale for the fifth dimension based on the quantum of charge. In the 1940s, the classical theory was completed, and the full field equations, including the scalar field, were obtained by three independent research groups. Theory Working in France on his dissertation under Lichnerovich, Jordan, Ludwig, and Muller in Germany, with critical input from Pauli and Fiers, and Scherer working alone in Switzerland. Jordan's work led to the scalar tensor theory of Brands Dick. Brands and Dick were apparently unaware of theory or Scherer. The full Kaluza equations under the cylinder condition are quite complex, and most English language reviews as well as the English translations of theory contain some errors. The complete Kaluza equations were evaluated using tensor algebra software in 2015. Topic: Kaluza hypothesis. In his 1921 paper, Kaluza established all the elements of the classical five-dimensional theory, the metric, the field equations, the equations of motion, the stress-energy tensor, and the cylinder condition. With no free parameters, it merely extends general relativity to five dimensions. One starts by hypothesizing a form of the five-dimensional metric g tilde a b Display style wide tiled g underscore ab, where Latin indices span five dimensions. Let one also introduce the four-dimensional spacetime metric g mu nu. Display style g underscore mu nu, where Greek indices span the usual four dimensions of space and time, a four-vector a mu. Display style a caret mu identified with the electromagnetic vector potential and a scalar field phi display style phi then decompose the 5d metric so that the 4d metric is framed by the electromagnetic vector potential with the scalar field at the fifth diagonal this can be visualized as g tilde a b g mu nu plus phi 2 a mu a nu phi 2 a mu phi 2 a nu phi 2 display style wide tiled g underscore ab equiv begin b matrix g underscore mu nu plus phi caret 2 a underscore mu a underscore nu and phi caret 2 a underscore mu phi caret 2 a underscore nu and phi caret 2 end b matrix. One can write more precisely g tilde mu nu g mu nu plus phi 2 a mu a nu g tilde 5 nu g tilde nu 5 phi 2 a new 
G tilde 55 phi 2 Display style wide tiled g underscore mu nu equiv g underscore mu nu plus phi caret two a underscore mu a underscore nu q quad wide tiled g underscore five nu equiv wide tiled g underscore nu five equiv phi caret two a underscore nu q quad wide tiled g underscore fifty five equiv phi caret two, where the index five display style five indicates the fifth coordinate by convention even though the first four coordinates are indexed with 0, 1, 2, and 3. The associated inverse metric is g tilde a b g mu nu minus a mu minus a nu g alpha beta a alpha a beta plus 1 phi 2 display style wide tiled g caret ab equiv begin b matrix g caret mu nu and a caret mu a caret nu and g underscore alpha beta a caret alpha a caret beta plus 1 over phi caret 2 end b matrix. This decomposition is quite general and all terms dimensionless. Kaluza then applies the machinery of standard general relativity to this metric. The field equations are obtained from five-dimensional Einstein equations, and the equations of motion from the five-dimensional geodesic hypothesis. The resulting field equations provide both the equations of general relativity and of electrodynamics, the equations of motion provide the four-dimensional geodesic equation and the Lorentz force law, and one finds that electric charge is identified with motion in the fifth dimension. The hypothesis for the metric implies an invariant five-dimensional length element d s display style operator name d s d s two g tilde a b d x a d x b equals G mu nu d x mu d x nu plus phi two a nu d x nu plus d x five two Display style operator name d s caret two equiv wide tiled g underscore ab operator name d x caret a operator name d x caret b equals g underscore mu nu d x caret mu operator name d x caret nu plus phi caret two a underscore nu operator name d x caret nu plus operator name d x caret five caret two Topic field equations From the Kaluza hypothesis the field equations of the five-dimensional theory were never adequately provided by Kaluza or Klein, mainly regarding the scalar field. The full Kaluza field equations are generally attributed to theory, who obtained vacuum field equations, although Kaluza originally provided a stress-energy tensor for his theory and theory included a stress-energy tensor in his thesis. But as described by Goner, several independent groups worked on the field equations in the 1940s and earlier. Theory is perhaps best known only because an English translation was provided by Appliquist, Chodos, and Freund in their review book. Appliquist et al. also provided an English translation of Kaluza's paper. There are no English translations of the Jordan papers. To obtain the 5D field equations, the 5D connections gamma tilde BCA display style wide tiled gamma underscore BC caret a are calculated from the 5D metric G tilde AB display style wide tiled G underscore ab and the 5D Ricci tensor R tilde AB display style wide tiled R underscore ab is calculated from the 5D connections. The classic results of theory and other authors presume the cylinder condition G tilde A B X five equals zero display style partial wide tiled G underscore ab over partial X caret five equals zero Without this assumption, the field equations become much more complex, providing many more degrees of freedom that can be identified with various new fields. Paul Wesson and colleagues have pursued relaxation of the cylinder condition to gain extra terms that can be identified with the matter fields, for which Kaluza otherwise inserted a stress-energy tensor by hand. 
It has been an objection to the original Kaluza hypothesis to invoke the fifth dimension only to negate its dynamics. But theory argued that the interpretation of the Lorentz force law in terms of a five-dimensional geodesic militates strongly for a fifth dimension irrespective of the cylinder condition. Most authors have therefore employed the cylinder condition in deriving the field equations. Furthermore, vacuum equations are typically assumed for which R tilde A B equals zero. Display style wide tiled R underscore AB equals zero, where R tilde A B C gamma tilde A B C minus B gamma tilde C A C plus gamma tilde C D C gamma tilde A B D minus gamma tilde B D C gamma tilde A C D Display style wide tiled R underscore ab equiv partial underscore C wide tiled gamma underscore ab carrot C partial underscore B wide tiled gamma underscore C A carrot C plus wide tiled gamma underscore C D carrot C wide tiled gamma underscore ab carrot D wide tiled gamma underscore B D carrot C wide tiled gamma underscore A C carrot D and gamma tilde B C A one two G tilde A D B G tilde D C plus C G tilde D B minus D G tilde B C display style wide tiled gamma underscore B C carrot a equiv one over two wide tiled G carrot add partial underscore B wide tiled G underscore D C plus partial underscore C wide tiled G underscore D B partial underscore D wide tiled G underscore B C the vacuum field equations obtained in this way by Theory and Jordan's group are as follows. The field equation for phi display style phi is obtained from r tilde 55 equals 0 white medium square phi equals 1 4 phi 3 F alpha beta F alpha beta display style wide tiled R underscore 55 equals 0 right arrow box Phi equals 1 over 4 Phi carrot 3 F carrot alpha beta F underscore alpha beta where F alpha beta alpha a beta minus Beta a alpha display style f underscore alpha beta equiv partial underscore alpha a underscore beta partial underscore beta a underscore alpha where white medium square g mu nu mu nu display style box eq Uiv g caret mu nu nabla underscore mu nabla underscore nu, and where mu display style nabla underscore mu is a standard 4D covariant derivative. It shows that the electromagnetic field is a source for the scalar field. Note that the scalar field cannot be set to a constant without constraining the electromagnetic field. 
The earlier treatments by Kaluza and Klein did not have an adequate description of the scalar field, and did not realize the implied constraint on the electromagnetic field by assuming the scalar field to be constant. The field equation for a nu display style a caret nu is obtained from r tilde five alpha equals zero equals one two g beta mu mu phi three f alpha beta display style wide tiled r underscore 5 alpha equals 0 equals 1 over 2 g caret beta mu nabla underscore mu phi caret 3 f underscore alpha beta it has the form of the vacuum maxwell equations if the scalar field is constant the field equation for the 4d ricci tensor r mu nu Display style r underscore mu nu is obtained from r tilde mu nu minus one two g tilde mu nu r tilde equals zero r mu nu minus 1 2 g mu nu r equals 1 2 phi 2 g alpha beta f mu alpha f nu beta minus 1 4 G mu nu f alpha beta f alpha beta plus one phi mu nu phi minus g mu nu white medium square phi Display style begin aligned wide tiled R underscore mu nu one over two wide tiled G underscore mu new wide tiled R and equals zero right arrow R underscore mu nu one over two G underscore mu nu R and equals one over two phi carrot two left G carrot alpha beta F underscore mu alpha F underscore nu beta one over four G underscore mu nu F underscore alpha beta F carrot alpha beta right plus one over phi left nabla underscore mu nabla underscore nu phi G underscore mu nu box phi right end aligned where R Display style r is the standard 4D Ricci scalar. This equation shows the remarkable result, called the Kaluza miracle, that the precise form for the electromagnetic stress energy tensor emerges from the 5D vacuum equations as a source in the 4D equations, field from the vacuum. This relation allows the definitive identification of a mu with the electromagnetic vector potential. Therefore, the field needs to be rescaled with a conversion constant k, display style k, such that a mu k a mu, display style a caret mu, right arrow k caret mu. The relation above shows that we must have k two two equals eight pi g c four one mu. 0 equals 2 g c 2 4 pi e 0 Display style k caret two over two equals eight pi g over c caret four one over mu underscore zero equals two g over c caret two four pi epsilon underscore zero where g Display style g is the gravitational constant and mu zero display style mu underscore zero is the permeability of free space. 
In the Kaluza theory, the gravitational constant can be understood as an electromagnetic coupling constant in the metric. There is also a stress-energy tensor for the scalar field. The scalar field behaves like a variable gravitational constant, in terms of modulating the coupling of electromagnetic stress energy to spacetime curvature. The sine of phi 2 in the metric is fixed by correspondence with 4D theory so that electromagnetic energy densities are positive. This turns out to imply that the fifth coordinate is spacelike in its signature in the metric. In the presence of matter, the 5D vacuum condition cannot be assumed. Indeed, Kaluza did not assume it. The full field equations require evaluation of the 5D Einstein tensor G tilde A B R tilde A B minus 1 2 G tilde A B R tilde display style wide tiled G underscore ab equiv wide tiled R underscore ab 1 over 2 wide tiled G underscore ab wide tiled R as seen in the recovery of the electromagnetic stress energy tensor above. The 5D curvature tensors are complex, and most English language reviews contain errors in either G tilde A B display style wide tiled G underscore ab or R tilde A B Display style wide tiled R underscore ab as does the English translation of see for a complete set of 5D curvature tensors under the cylinder condition, evaluated using tensor algebra software. Topic: Equations of motion from the Kaluza hypothesis. The equations of motion are obtained from the five-dimensional geodesic hypothesis in terms of a five-velocity u tilde a d x a d s display style wide tiled u caret a equiv d x caret a per deci second u tilde b tilde b U tilde a equals d u tilde a d s plus gamma tilde b c a u tilde b u tilde c equals zero. Display style wide tiled u caret b wide tiled nabla underscore b wide tiled u caret a equals d wide tiled u caret a over d s plus wide tiled gamma underscore b c caret a wide tiled u caret b wide tiled u caret c equals zero. This equation can be recast in several ways, and it has been studied in various forms by authors including Kaluza, Pauli, Gross, and Perry. Gagan Berg and Kunstadter, and Wesson and Ponce de Leon, but it is instructive to convert it back to the usual four-dimensional length element C 2 D tau 2 G mu nu dx mu dx nu display style C caret 2 D tau caret 2 equiv G underscore mu nu dx caret mu dx caret nu, which is related to the five-dimensional length element ds display style ds as given ab ove d s two equals c 2 d tau 2 plus phi 2 k a nu d x nu plus d x 5 2 Display style ds caret two equals c caret two d tau caret two plus phi caret two ka underscore nu dx caret nu plus dx caret five caret two. Then the five d geodesic equation can be written for the spacetime components of the four velocity u nu d x nu d tau 
Display style u caret nu equiv dx caret nu d tau d u nu d tau plus gamma tilde alpha beta mu u alpha u beta plus two gamma tilde five alpha mu u alpha u five plus gamma tilde fifty five mu u five two plus u mu d d tau lane c d tau d s equals zero Display style do carrot nu over d tau plus wide titled gamma underscore alpha beta carrot mu u carrot alpha u carrot beta plus two wide titled gamma underscore five alpha carrot mu u carrot alpha u carrot five plus wide titled gamma underscore fifty five carrot mu u carrot five carrot two plus u carrot m U D over D tau lane left C D tau over D S right equals zero The term quadratic in U new display style u caret new provides the 4d geodesic equation plus some electromagnetic terms gamma tilde alpha beta mu equals gamma alpha beta mu plus 1 2 g mu New K two Phi two a alpha F beta new plus a beta F alpha new minus a alpha a beta new lane Phi Two display style with it I L D E gamma underscore alpha beta carrot mu equals gamma underscore alpha beta carrot mu plus one over two G carrot mu nu K carrot two phi carrot two a underscore alpha F underscore beta nu plus a underscore beta F underscore alpha nu a underscore alpha a underscore beta partial underscore nu lane phi carrot two the term linear in U New display style u caret new provides the Lorentz force law gamma tilde five alpha mu equals one two g mu new k phi two f alpha new minus Alpha new lane phi two display style wide tiled gamma underscore five alpha carrot mu equals one over two g carrot mu new k phi carrot two f underscore alpha new a underscore alpha partial underscore new lane phi carrot two. This is another expression of the Kaluza miracle. The same hypothesis for the 5D metric that provides electromagnetic stress energy in the Einstein equations, also provides the Lorentz force law in the equation of motions along with the 4D geodesic equation. Yet correspondence with the Lorentz force law requires that we identify the component of 5 velocity along the fifth dimension with electric charge k u 5 equals k d x Five D Tau Q M C Display style Q carrot five equals K DX carrot five over D Tau right arrow Q over Mc where M 
display style m is particle mass and q display style q is particle electric charge thus electric charge is understood as motion along the fifth dimension the fact that the Lorentz force law could be understood as a geodesic in five dimensions was to Kaluza a primary motivation for considering the five-dimensional hypothesis, even in the presence of the aesthetically unpleasing cylinder condition. Yet there is a problem, the term quadratic in U 5 gamma tilde 55 mu equals Minus one two G mu alpha alpha phi two display style wide tiled gamma underscore fifty five carrot mu equals one over two G carrot mu alpha partial underscore alpha phi carrot two. If there is no gradient in the scalar field, the term quadratic in U five display style u caret 5 vanishes but otherwise the expression above implies u 5 c q m g 1 2 display style u caret 5 sim c q per meter over g caret 1 half for elementary particles u 5 greater than 10 20 c display style u caret 5 greater than erm 10 caret 20 c the term quadratic in u 5 display style u caret 5 should dominate the equation perhaps in contradiction to experience this was the main shortfall of the five dimensional theory as kaluza saw it and he gives it some discussion in his original article the equation of motion for u 5 display style u caret 5 is particularly simple under the cylinder condition start with the alternate form of the geodesic equation written for the covariant 5 velocity d u tilde a d s equals 1 2 u tilde b u tilde c g tilde b c x a display style d wide tiled u underscore a over ds equals 1 over 2 wide tiled u caret b wide tiled u caret c partial wide tiled g underscore b c over partial x caret a this m means that under the cylinder condition u tilde 5 display style wide tiled u underscore 5 is a constant of the five dimensional motion u tilde 5 equals g tilde 5 a u tilde a equals Phi two C D Tau D S K A new U new plus U five equals C O N S T A N T display style wide tiled u underscore five equals wide tiled g underscore five a wide tiled u caret a equals phi caret two c d tau over d s ka underscore new u caret new plus u caret five equals erm constant. Topic: Kaluza's hypothesis for the matter stress energy tensor. Kaluza proposed a 5D matter stress tensor T tilde M A B display style wide tiled T underscore M caret ab 
of the form T tilde M A B equals rho D X A D S D X B D S Display style wide tiled t underscore m caret ab equals rho dx caret a over ds dx caret b over ds, where rho display style rho is a density in the length element d s display style ds is as defined above. Then the spacetime component gives a typical dust stress energy tensor t tilde m mu nu equals rho d x mu d s d x nu d s Display style wide tiled t underscore m caret mu nu equals rho dx caret mu over ds dx caret nu over ds. The mixed component provides a four current source for the Maxwell equations. T tilde m five mu equals rho d x mu d S D X five D S equals Rho U mu Q K M C Display style wide tiled t underscore m caret five mu equals rho dx caret mu over ds dx caret five over ds equals rho u caret mu q over kmc. Just as the five-dimensional metric comprises the 4D metric framed by the electromagnetic vector potential, the five-dimensional stress energy tensor comprises the 4D stress energy tensor framed by the vector four current. Quantum interpretation of Klein Kaluza's original hypothesis was purely classical and extended discoveries of general relativity. By the time of Klein's contribution, the discoveries of Heisenberg, Schrödinger, and de Broglie were receiving a lot of attention. Klein's Nature paper suggested that the fifth dimension is closed and periodic, and that the identification of electric charge with motion in the fifth dimension be interpreted as standing waves of wavelength. Lambda five display style lambda caret five, much like the electrons around a nucleus in the Bohr model of the atom. The quantization of electric charge could then be nicely understood in terms of integer multiples of fifth dimensional momentum. Combining the previous Kaluza result for u five display style u caret five in terms of electric charge and a de Broglie relation for momentum p five equals h lambda five display style p caret five equals h lambda caret five Klein obtained an expression for the zeroth mode of such waves. M U five equals C Q G one two equals H Lambda five Lambda five H G one two C Q Display style mu caret five equals c q over g caret one half equals h over lambda caret five q quad right arrow q quad lambda caret five sim h g caret one half over c q, where h display style h is the Planck constant. Klein found lambda five ten minus thirty. Display style lambda caret five sim erm ten caret minus thirty 
cm, and thereby an explanation for the cylinder condition in this small value. Klein's Zeitschrift für Physik paper of the same year, gave a more detailed treatment that explicitly invoked the techniques of Schrödinger and de Broglie. It recapitulated much of the classical theory of Kaluza described above, and then departed into Klein's quantum interpretation. Klein solved a Schrödinger-like wave equation using an expansion in terms of fifth-dimensional waves resonating in the closed, compact fifth dimension. <laughs> Quantum field theory interpretation <laughs> Group theory interpretation A splitting of five-dimensional spacetime into the Einstein equations and Maxwell equations in four dimensions was first discovered by Gunnar Nordström in 1914, in the context of his theory of gravity, but subsequently forgotten. Kaluza published his derivation in 1921 as an attempt to unify electromagnetism with Einstein's general relativity. In 1926, Oskar Klein proposed that the fourth spatial dimension is curled up in a circle of a very small radius, so that a particle moving a short distance along that axis would return to where it began. The distance a particle can travel before reaching its initial position is said to be the size of the dimension. This extra dimension is a compact set, and construction of this compact dimension is referred to as compactification. In modern geometry, the extra fifth dimension can be understood to be the circle group U as electromagnetism can essentially be formulated as a gauge theory on a fiber bundle, the circle bundle, with gauge group U In Kaluza-Klein theory this group suggests that gauge symmetry is the symmetry of circular compact dimensions. Once this geometrical interpretation is understood, it is relatively straightforward to replace U by a general Lie group. Such generalizations are often called Yang-Mills theories. If a distinction is drawn, then it is that Yang-Mills theories occur on a flat spacetime, whereas Kaluza-Klein treats the more general case of curved spacetime. The base space of Kaluza-Klein theory need not be four-dimensional spacetime, it can be any pseudo Riemannian manifold, or even a supersymmetric manifold or orbifold or even a noncommutative space. The construction can be outlined, roughly, as follows. One starts by considering a principal fiber bundle P with gauge group G over a manifold M given a connection on the bundle, and a metric on the base manifold, and a gauge invariant metric on the tangent of each fiber. One can construct a bundle metric defined on the entire bundle. Computing the scalar curvature of this bundle metric, one finds that it is constant on each fiber. This is the Kaluza miracle. One did not have to explicitly impose a cylinder condition, or to compactify, by assumption, the gauge group is already compact. Next, one takes this scalar curvature as the Lagrangian density, and, from this, constructs the Einstein-Hilbert action for the bundle, as a whole. The equations of motion, the Euler-Lagrange equations, can be then obtained by considering where the action is stationary with respect to variations of either the metric on the base manifold, or of the gauge connection. Variations with respect to the base metric gives the Einstein field equations on the base manifold, with the energy-momentum tensor given by the curvature field strength of the gauge connection. On the flip side, the action is stationary against variations of the gauge connection precisely when the gauge connection solves the Young-Mills equations. Thus, by applying a single idea, the principle of least action, to a single quantity, the scalar curvature on the bundle, as a whole, one obtains simultaneously all of the needed field equations, for both the space-time and the gauge field. As an approach to the unification of the forces, it is straightforward to apply the Kaluza-Klein theory in an attempt to unify gravity with the strong and electroweak forces by using the symmetry group of the standard model, SU times SU times U However, an attempt to convert this interesting geometrical construction into a bona fide model of reality flounders on a number of issues, including the fact that the fermions must be introduced in an artificial way in non-supersymmetric models. Nonetheless, KK remains an important touchstone in theoretical physics and is often embedded in more sophisticated theories. It is studied in its own right as an object of geometric interest in K-theory. Even in the absence of a completely satisfying theoretical physics framework, the idea of exploring extra, compactified, dimensions is of considerable interest in the experimental physics and astrophysics communities. A variety of predictions, with real experimental consequences, can be made in the case of large extra dimensions and warped models. 
For example, on the simplest of principles, one might expect to have standing waves in the extra compactified dimensions. If a spatial extra dimension is of radius r, the invariant mass of such standing waves would be Minnesota equals n h, r c with n an integer, h being Planck's constant and c the speed of light. This set of possible mass values is often called the Kaluza Klein Tower. Similarly, in thermal quantum field theory a compactification of the Euclidean time dimension leads to the Matsubara frequencies and thus to a discretized thermal energy spectrum. However, Klein's approach to a quantum theory is flawed and, for example, leads to a calculated electron mass in the order of magnitude of the Planck mass. Examples of experimental pursuits include work by the CDF Collaboration, which has re-analyzed particle collider data for the signature of effects associated with large extra dimensions, warped models. Brandenburger and Waffe have speculated that in the early universe, cosmic inflation causes three of the space dimensions to expand to cosmological size while the remaining dimensions of space remained microscopic. Space-time matter theory One particular variant of Kaluza-Klein theory is space-time matter theory or induced matter theory, chiefly promulgated by Paul Wesson and other members of the Space-Time Matter Consortium. In this version of the theory, it is noted that solutions to the equation R tilde A B equals 0 display style wide tiled r underscore ab equals 0 may be re-expressed so that in four dimensions these solutions satisfy einstein's equations g mu nu equals 8 pi t mu nu display style g underscore mu nu equals 8 pi t underscore mu nu with the precise form of the TMN following from the Ricci flat condition on the five-dimensional space. In other words, the cylinder condition of the previous development is dropped, and the stress energy now comes from the derivatives of the 5D metric with respect to the fifth coordinate. Because the energy-momentum tensor is normally understood to be due to concentrations of matter in four-dimensional space, the above result is interpreted as saying that four-dimensional matter is induced from geometry in five-dimensional space. In particular, the soliton solutions of R tilde A B equals zero display style wide tiled R underscore ab equals zero can be shown to contain the Friedman Lemaitre Robertson Walker metric in both radiation dominated early universe and matter dominated later universe forms. The general equations can be shown to be sufficiently consistent with classical tests of general relativity to be acceptable on physical principles, while still leaving considerable freedom to also provide interesting cosmological models. <laughs> <laughs> Geometric interpretation The Kaluza Klein theory has a particularly elegant presentation in terms of geometry. In a certain sense, it looks just like ordinary gravity in free space, except that it is phrased in five dimensions instead of four. Topic: <inaudible> Einstein equations. The equations governing ordinary gravity in free space can be obtained from an action by applying the variational principle to a certain action. Let M be a pseudo Riemannian manifold, which may be taken as the spacetime of general relativity. If G is the metric on this manifold, one defines the action S G as S G equals M R G V O L G Display style S G equals in underscore M R G Mathem volume G where R G is the scalar curvature and volume G is the volume element. By applying the variational principle to the action Delta S G Delta G equals zero Display style frac delta s g delta g equals zero. 
one obtains precisely the Einstein equations for free space R I J minus 1 2 G I J R equals 0 Display style R underscore I J F R A C one two G underscore I J R equals zero. Here R I J is the Ricci tensor. Topic Maxwell equations. By contrast, the Maxwell equations describing electromagnetism can be understood to be the Hodge equations of a principle U bundle or circle bundle π, Pm with fiber U That is, the electromagnetic field F is a harmonic two-form in the space ω2 of differentiable two-forms on the manifold M. In the absence of charges and currents, the free field Maxwell equations are df Topic zero and d asterisk f zero, where asterisk is the Hodge star. Topic Kaluza Klein geometry. To build the Kaluza Klein theory, one picks an invariant metric on the circle S one that is the fiber of the U one bundle of electromagnetism. In this discussion, an invariant metric is simply one that is invariant under rotations of the circle. Suppose this metric gives the circle a total length of lambda. One then considers metrics g caret display style wide hat g on the bundle P that are consistent with both the fiber metric and the metric on the underlying manifold M. The consistency conditions are the projection of g caret display style wide hat g to the vertical subspace vert p p t p p display style m box vert underscore p p subset t underscore p p needs to agree with metric on the fiber over a point in the manifold m the projection of g caret Display style wide hat g to the horizontal subspace h o r p p t p p display style m box h o r underscore p p subset t underscore p p of the tangent space at point p element of p must be isomorphic to the metric g on m at pi p. The Kaluza Klein action for such a metric is given by S G caret equals P R G caret volume G caret display style S wide hat G equals int underscore P R wide hat G M box volume wide hat G the scalar curvature, written in components, then expands to R G caret equals pi R G minus lambda two two F two Display style r wide hat g equals pi caret asterisk left r g frac lambda caret two two vert f vert caret two right, where pi asterisk is the pullback of the fiber bundle projection pi pm. The connection a on the fiber bundle is related to the electromagnetic field strength as pi f equals d a. Display style pi caret asterisk f equals mathrm d a that there always exists such a connection even for fiber bundles of arbitrarily complex topology is a result from homology and specifically k theory. Applying Fubini's theorem and integrating on the fiber, one gets s g caret equals lambda m r g minus 1 lambda 2 f 2 volume g 
Display style s wide hat g equals lambda int underscore m left r g frac one lambda caret two vert f vert caret two right m box volume g. Varying the action with respect to the component a, one regains the Maxwell equations. Applying the variational principle to the base metric g, one gets the Einstein equations. R i j minus one Two G I J R equals one Lambda two T I J Display style R underscore I J F R A C one two G underscore I J R equals F R A C one Lambda carrot two T underscore I J with the stress energy tensor being given by T I J equals F I K F J L G K L minus one four G I J F two Display style t caret i j equals f caret ik f caret j l g underscore k l frac one four g caret i j vert f vert caret two, sometimes called the Maxwell stress tensor. The original theory identifies lambda with the fiber metric g fifty five and allows lambda to vary from fiber to fiber. In this case, the coupling between gravity and the electromagnetic field is not constant, but has its own dynamical field, the radian. Topic. Generalizations In the above, the size of the loop λ acts as a coupling constant between the gravitational field and the electromagnetic field. If the base manifold is four-dimensional, the Kaluza-Klein manifold P is five-dimensional. The fifth dimension is a compact space, and is called the compact dimension. The technique of introducing compact dimensions to obtain a higher dimensional manifold is referred to as compactification. Compactification does not produce group actions on chiral fermions except in very specific cases. The dimension of the total space must be 2 mod 8 and the g index of the Dirac operator of the compact space must be non-zero. The above development generalizes in a more or less straightforward fashion to general principle g bundles for some arbitrary Lie group g taking the place of u1. In such a case, the theory is often referred to as a Young-Mills theory, and is sometimes taken to be synonymous. If the underlying manifold is supersymmetric, the resulting theory is a supersymmetric Young-Mills theory. <laughs> <laughs> Empirical tests No experimental or observational signs of extra dimensions have been officially reported. Many theoretical search techniques for detecting Kaluza-Klein resonances have been proposed using the mass couplings of such resonances with the top quark. However, until the Large Hadron Collider LHC reaches full operational power, observation of such resonances are unlikely. An analysis of results from the LHC in December 2010 severely constrains theories with large extra dimensions. The observation of a Higgs like boson at the LHC establishes a new empirical test which can be applied to the search for Kaluza Klein resonances and supersymmetric particles. The loop Feynman diagrams that exist in the Higgs interactions allow any particle with electric charge and mass to run in such a loop. Standard model particles besides the top quark and W boson do not make big contributions to the cross-section observed in the h ing decay, but if there are new particles beyond the standard model, they could potentially change the ratio of the predicted standard model h ing cross-section to the experimentally observed cross-section. Hence a measurement of any dramatic change to the h ing cross-section predicted by the standard model is crucial in probing the physics beyond it. Another more recent paper from July 2018 does bode some hope for this theory, in the paper they dispute that gravity is leaking into higher dimensions as in Brin theory. However the paper does demonstrate that M and gravity share the same number of dimensions and this fact lends support to Kaluza-Klein theory, whether the number of dimensions is really 3 plus 1 or in fact 4 plus 1 is the subject of further debate. <laughs> 
See also Classical theories of gravitation Complex spacetime DGP model Quantum gravity randall sundrum model String theory Supergravity Superstring theory Notes <laughs> <laughs>